Well, good morning. I'm in a dishevelled state. I've just woke up and it's half past eight. Hang on, I think that rhymed. It wasn't intentional. Um, right, so it's probably quarter to nine now. Beautiful morning out there. So despite all the wind and rain and all the tempestual weather, let's get outside and have a look and see what it's like. It's gorgeous. There you go. Ah, oh, look at that. Look lovely out there. Absolutely gorgeous morning, splendiferous. How are you? Hello. Hello, how are you? Fox has been doing, um, you know some people do bottle flipping? Who? You know some people do bottle flipping? Yes. Fox has been doing bucket flipping. I will send you the video. To bucket include. flipping, okay, we'll stick that in here. Bucket flipping, oh yeah, it's, uh, he's forward, he's forward thinking. Show us some bucket flipping. Oh, yeah, it was, yeah. Beautiful. Go out there and do it for me. Fox. Do it up there, Fox. Do it up there. No, no. That's... Okay. Go out the mountain, Fox. Go up the mountain and do it. Oh, I was hoping that was going to hit him on the head then. Was so mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you didn't. You didn't hope. I thought it might land like a hat. That would be great. Oh, that would be awesome. Awesome! No, I can't see yeah, you. Get on my foot. Try and land it on do my it again, foot. Fox. Go up the hill and do it. <laughs> see what I mean? He's lethal with stuff, that boy. Look at him. He's not even at his gym jams yet. Is he? Is he? That wind must be quite biting. Nice. Is that it? Is that it? Is that the full? Oh, nearly. Is that the full extent of his talent? Right. I don't think you'll be in on any TV and Britain's Got Talent or anything like that. So this is the so there is the sea as you can see. And there is the house. See? House. House. I oh, see. Fox, can I try? And the kids are having more fun than you would think possible. Oh, I know, it's great, isn't it? If that sand was, uh, wasn't there, they would be so miserable. Oh! You nearly hit your brother with a bucket. What are you doing? What wheel? What does it determine? I've no idea. You've not thought this through, have you? A seashell. Oh, does it decree what they go looking for? Okay. A handful of sand and ring Willow, but there was no purpose to ringing her on the sand phone. I just had to say hello. Well, that sounds. And then, and then she hung up, and that was that. That sounds just dandy. It was. It was, it was, it was oh, isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. It's lovely. Coast over it's gorgeous. Wow. Okay. I didn't know it was something that close. Right, that's the thing. I'm going to go and have a cup of tea now. Alright, Lily, how are you? Are you good? Could do. Look at that, it's lovely, isn't it? You alright, Lil? Lily was frolicking a moment ago, weren't you, Lil? Frolicking underneath the boardwalk. I'll be honest, for the first couple of days, it was quite horrendous, the weather. Um, but you know what, we're British, so it doesn't really bother us. We just get on with it. But um, today, even if we only have this one day like this, this morning even, it's more than made up for it because we can sit out here. It's a little bit chilly still. But the sun's beating down, well, beating down as much as it can. It's all October time. But yeah, it's lovely. It's just, I'm just watching the boats go by people frolicking on the beach, the dogs, Lily's enjoying it. Just, uh, yeah, it's just great, it's really nice. Beautiful. I've had hours of fun making pizzas out of sand. All that money that's getting spent on toys, I keep repeating myself because I'm so tight, but all that money that gets spent on toys, 
and he prefers boxes and sand and she prefers just sand. <laughs> Never mind. The dog's frolicking over there on the beach. I meant not boxes, but I think it was second birthday. You got it's a joy to watch the old dogs just enjoy their lives. No worries. What birthday was it where you got him you got boxes of boxes of tissues and he loved it? Um I can't remember, I had to ask Mummy actually. Got more than that, but he did love the tissues more. He loved the box of tissues more than yeah. anything. Yeah. I don't even know if they were a present or not, to be honest. He just, he just loved them. Okay. So Fox is gonna make me a pizza. Is that pizza ready, Fox? Where is it? Mine didn't have ears. Don't you drop my pizza? Has mine got ears? Yeah. Brilliant. Let's have a look at my pizza. Oh, that's got ears. Let's have a look. He's done a face on it and everything. How lovely. But as you guys probably don't, I'm actually allergic to pizza. So, uh, Fox, Fox. Uh, 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 oh, sorry, Willow. Got ya. Right, so we are off out again and we are going to a place called Winchelsea or Winchelsea I'm not sure of the pronunciation of it um, I'm going for Winchelsea it could be Winchelsea it could be anything it's CH isn't it yeah I know oh I don't know and we'll call it Winchelsea or Winchelsea whatever you know we'll just call it whatever we fancy call it at the time I might even call it Paris yeah there you go how's that so Winchelsea has got a couple of neat little bits of trivia really and one of them is the reason we're going there today and i'll get to that in a minute but the first reason that the first piece of trivia is that it's the smallest town in england to have its own mayor 600 people 600 people that's that's a tiny tiny town i guess there's some villages that have got more but that's the first piece and the second piece is that i'm going to see that what i was saying at the beginning of the week going to see they're congregating it here like uh like zombies you, uh, just <laughs> so um what was i saying yeah the second piece of trivia is the reason where we're going here and I, well, this is somebody that i've i've mentioned it early on in the week that i was going to go and see someone's grave who i absolutely love from the sort of 70s 60s 70s 80s i didn't I don't know, 60, I was too young for that but certainly when i was growing up for the 70s and the 80s he was a, a prominent figure on tv he was a comedian very funny man Daddy. and i'll give you a little bit hang on a bit fox for a minute darling a little bit of a clue um i'm walking backwards for christmas so that was one of his songs i believe and um something else they used to do at the end of his program they used to look at the camera all of them and go what are we gonna do now 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 <laughs> so if you're of an age then you will remember who this is and um, we'll, we'll see more when we get to Winchelsea. I'm slightly concerned we're not going to get parts when we get back. Don't worry about it. If you don't, you don't, it's fine. Don't worry. Don't stress over things that may not happen. Oh, no, I'm not stressing. Oh, really? Because uh, you're pulling your hair? You're stressing <laughs> a bit? I'm not pulling my hair out, though, am I? No, that's true. Oh, hang on. He's Amazon, that man. I'm right. Oh, let's class. have a look. We've got some Amazon stuff coming. Daddy. Yes, Fox. Lily. Lizard. Lizard? Yeah. Oh, you said comedian. Oh, yeah. I said it was a, the, where we're going. There's a, we're going to go to the grave of a famous comedian. And Fox said, thought I said chameleon. That's it. That's the story. But he wanted me to tell you. And so tell you I must. Well, that was very handy. Because Hazel spotted quite, quite uh, fortuitously an Amazon man. In a not in an Amazon van, but an Amazon man or Daddy. delivery man. Yes, Fox. About a half a mile from where we are. And look, it's arrived. I can shave. Awesome. I can finally shave. And Fox, what'd you get, Fox? And Fox has got some socks that he run out of socks. Rocket socks. Rockets and aliens on them. That was handy, Hazel. Very, very well spotted. Is, Eagle eye. I can't with that, I'll move it. Yeah. Right, we're coming into through the arch into Winchelsea now. It's a tiny. It's more of a village, really, isn't it? Like a rather than a town. But obviously, if it's if it's a town, it's a town. But to me, it looks more like a village. It's a very pretty little village. 
hopefully we'll be at the, that must, I wonder if that's the churchyard on the left. Let's have a look, shall we? Yeah, I think, I think, oh, it is the church. Yeah, I think that is it, in there. Right. It's a very, very strong rural smoke scent around here. Always sort of brings me back to my childhood. You know when you get those smells or those tastes that sort of smells mainly for me, that trigger childhood memories? For me, it's very, yeah, it's very um, reminiscent of my childhood, these, these smells. But the man that we're looking for is in here somewhere, I believe. He's found something of interest here. Look, Sophie Winter and Martin P. Winter and Henry Winter. Ooh. Possible relatives? Who knows? Right, we're in the cemetery now and we're just looking for... Hazel says that he's buried under a tree. But uh, we'll try and follow this here. Oh, there's a bit of rain coming down. Right, there's the Celtic cross over there, and I'm not sure. Oh, let's have a look. Look for the cemetery. Right. No, that's not him. Right. Do you sound under a tree, Hazel? Well, yeah, I don't know which tree. Okay. Let's go searching. Right, so here is the man himself, the great man himself. This is the grave of none other than the legend that is Spike Milligan. Now, Spike Milligan, when I was growing up, was, was massive, and he still is. He's still, you know, he'll never be forgotten because the man's a legend. He's actually a comedic legend. And um, I sort of grew up around his comedy. A lot of it would be considered not PC today. But nevertheless, it was comedy. And um, comedy should not be restricted by political correctness kicking the joy out of life but I'm not going to go down that route but this is the grave of the great man and as you can see on his grave here sorry Spike you've got it written in Gaelic Irish Gaelic because he was an Irishman even though he was born in India he was actually an Irishman and uh, in England you're not allowed to have um, you're not allowed to have anything with frivolity inscribed on your headstone uh, it's just not allowed for some reason. I don't know why. So he's had, he's had, his epitaph is in Irish Gaelic, and it says, translated into English, "I told you I was ill." <laughs> so yeah, so you can see even in death, the man was, 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 was comedic, and um, sadly, this is where he lies. But thank you, sir, for all the joy and laugh that you brought into my life and the lives of countless others. God bless. I just want to give you a video that this is me and I haven't nicked somebody else's video and all, you know, done any um, voiceover on it. So there's Spike behind me. God bless him. Even now in death, man puts a big smile on my face. Great genius. Probably, well, not probably, definitely one of the funniest men ever in my opinion absolute genius thanks spike so this is a very oh, that was got hit in the eye by a leaf it was it's a very pretty place i love it i keep calling it a village because it's like a village to me it's tiny but um yeah it's a beautiful little town i still can't get in my head that it's a town but it is even with 600 inhabitants so yeah yeah it's a beautiful place Beautiful. I am around it now. Lovely. Let's go through here. What's up with Fox? 
What's up with Fox? Scared, scared of what? Nothing to be scared of. Scared of the graves. They're just people. They're exactly the same as us. The living are scary. Some of them. What about my mum and dad? And my brother? They've gone, but they're nice. Silly sausage. Oh dear. Fox, there's nothing to be frightened. Is he frightened or sad? He's got home, he's scared. Is he sad? Okay, we'll go, we'll go. Nothing to be scared of, Fox, I promise you. The dead don't hurt us. As my mum and dad just said, oh, but dad, really, just the living. Right. Let's go then. There you go, just let you know where we are. Wind you'll see. And uh, Hazel, Willow and Lily have gone off geocaching. Thank you. Fox, back seat, darling. Back seat, please. Or, or just close the door on me. Rude. Oh, look, look. She's trying to be surreptitious about it, look. Hazel, yeah? you're trying to be surreptitious, but it's obviously what you look at. You're like a spy looking for some documents that have been hidden. <laughs> right, so one thing that I had neglected, which is very historical, is that John Wesley, was he, what, 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 was he a, a Baptist preacher? He was a, a Presbyterian. Or was he a Methodist? Or? Not rain in there. That's rain. Rain. Oh, hang on. Rain. Not rain. Drizzle really. No rain. You probably can't even pick it up to be fair. But yes, so um, John Wesley, that church is where he did his last sermon and it was under a was it under a under an ash tree. And I think the tree's still there, isn't it? No, it got uprooted, Oh right, so the one so obviously they planted one its place, but I Ah, okay. So yeah, so that John Wesley, the uh, very, very famous uh, clergyman from the, is it 17 or 1800s? I can't remember now. Um, yeah, that was his last sermon was given from that church. Another little bit of trivia for you. Full of it, aren't I? And trivia. This is quite pleasant. We found a little beach cafe. It's, um, yeah, it's pretty pleasant. Have a spot of lunch here, coffee. Absolutely lovely. Hello. Hello, how are you? Good. You having fun now? Yeah. Good boy. What well, are you going to have for lunch? Yay. You don't know yet? What? What are you going to have for lunch? Um, one, two, three, back in the room, back in the room. One, two, three, hello. Hello. One, two, three, back in the room, back in the room. One, two, three. <laughs> there you go. Right. Hello. hello, Willow. How are you? Good. What are you having for lunch? I don't know. You don't know. You don't sound like you care either. Oh, well, fair enough moving under shelter because it's a little bit can you see some dark clouds forming it's a metaphor for something for this particular time but yeah so we're gonna grab a seat at the Viking table Viking hello, hello. go away <laughs> lunch is I've gone for the same I think you've gone for the same place haven't you Braised oh beef God, and potato pasty. And they last oh to you. Oh, fantastic. What do you go for, Willow? Let me guess. I'm psychic. Is it chips? No. Oh, that is chips. You're not a psychic. No, I'm psychic. Yeah, psychic. Yeah, psychic. But what have you got? Ham sandwich box. Oh, your favourite. Ah. Lovely. Yeah. Right, let's get cracking on this. Well, that was very, very nice. Lovely pasty. Lovely latte. And, uh, it's nice to sit down and take the weight off for a bit, really. That cafe there are doing a really, really good thing, really wonderful thing during these times. These times, they're um, they're making up packed lunches for for children um, to compensate for what the government are failing to do. But um, yeah, it's, just, it's good, isn't it? The human spirit always comes to the fore, doesn't it, when needed? Best of British, as it were. 
very kind. Get a load of that view out there, isn't that gorgeous? <clears throat> Not the cars, obviously, but it's very pretty. Do you know what? I, when I decided to video this little bit of land here, this, this view, there was no bugger anywhere in sight. It's gone quiet again now. But yeah, look at that, isn't it beautiful? It's lovely, lovely day. It's a corker of a day, it really is. Well, we're back at the uh, holiday let, and um, yeah, this, this turned nicely, look at that. Just uh, having a coffee and a chill for the afternoon. I think that's us done for the day. Just, uh, yeah, it's, just been, it's been quite a nice morning, quite an interesting morning. Thoroughly enjoyable, really. Um, the whole holiday's been really good so far. And uh, the weather's not really been a problem. Not fast us, is it? It's not bothered us at all, is it? Chilly air, but that's fine. Ah, we can do chilly. We can do chilly. We can even do rain and storms and snow and all sorts of things. Yeah. There was actually <laughs> oh, was cute. There was actually I, I was laying in bed last night and I saw I, I saw what I thought to be. Uh, well, it looked like a strike of lightning. Yeah, well, no, we saw that just one. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was quite a long way off. I didn't hear the thunder. It was I must have fell asleep between. But yeah, I just saw it out the corner, of, out through the window, just the corner of my eye, and yeah. I thought well, that sounds like what well, it sounds like, but it looks like uh, lightning. Yeah, we'll but yeah, yeah, it was quite good. Could have done with a real thunderstorm last yeah. night. That would have been cool, right by the sea. Yeah. So yeah, it's been quite a quite a good afternoon, hasn't it? Quite a good morning and afternoon, really. Yeah. And then we're just back to chill, aren't we? Yeah. So it's. Yeah. Oh, sausage and mashy, lovely. So it's see you later from me. And see you later. See you in the next vlog, guys. Take it easy. <laughs> Just thought I'd get this in as a last little bit of film because it's so cold. People coming off, off the beach with their horses. We saw a young lady over there got thrown off, but she's okay. She got back on again, so that's good. And there's a tiny little one at the end. <laughs> There you go. Very cool. They loved it. The horses loved it.